During the course of a day, nearly everyone is exposed to low levels of radiation from both man-made and natural sources. Naturally occurring radioactive material, commonly called NORM, includes all radioactive elements found organically in the environment. While health risks from exposure to low levels of NORM are minimal, the extraction and production of oil, natural gas, or minerals can cause NORM to accumulate in hazardous concentrations, harming internal tissue and organs. There are three basic exposure pathways, or routes of exposure, by which NORM can affect the body. Radiation is the process by which energy is given off in the form of particles or electromagnetic waves. When unstable atoms decay, they emit radiation as a byproduct. Surface contamination exists when radioactive material is deposited onto a surface. When ionizing radiation damages cells in the body, the effects can be both short-term or long-term. The most serious long-term effect of radiation exposure is an increased chance of developing cancer. When the DNA of a cell is damaged by ionizing radiation, there are four possible outcomes. In relation to norm, Exposure describes the amount of radiation that is traveling through the air. Dose describes the amount of radiation absorbed by an object or person. OSHA has set annual radiation dose limits for workers that are occupationally exposed to radiation. Radiation protection programs are required to inform employees when radiation hazards exist, provide sufficient safety training, and supply PPE and protective clothing. To measure radiation levels in the workplace, Norm surveys must be conducted and documented by authorized personnel. When leaving a norm-contaminated area, a full-body scan, known as frisking, must be performed to check for contamination. The low levels of radiation that we are exposed to do not usually present hazards. While norm rarely poses an immediate danger, hazardous concentrations can accumulate in the body due to chronic exposure. By being aware of norm in the workplace, knowing the current radiation levels, and using control methods, occupational exposure can be kept as low as reasonably achievable.